Hi, I am Nishtha. Welcome back to our video of How does multi-vendor integration enhance commerce tools? In this video, let's dive into the process of integration between CT and MVM. This integration will allow a seamless data transfer and synchronization between the two platforms. So let's get started. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell to stay updated with latest content. So now let's check how you can integrate your CT panel with your MVM panel. So here we are at the CT backend. Enter the email and the password and click on sign in. Here we have the CT homepage. Navigating towards the left hand side, we have the option of settings. Choose the developer settings from there. Now from here, you can create new API client. Click on it. Choose the name. Choose the template. We'll select the admin client. Here you have to click on create API client. The API client is created. You can check the project key, client ID, secret ID, scope, API URL and the auth URL. You have to enter all these credentials and the keys to your MVM panel once you are going to register to your MVM panel. So let me show you that even how you can register yourself to your MVM panel. So let's check how we can register in the multi-vendor marketplace panel. Here you have to enter the email, write down the domain name, the password, confirm password, and then click on sign up. There you can see add merchant details for commerce tool. That means here you have to enter these project key, client ID, client secret, API host, and auth host. After entering these details, click on this add details. As we have already created an account on multi-vendor marketplace panel, so we're going to log in from that account. Here we are at the multi-vendor marketplace backend and with the help of email and the password from which we have registered, we're going to log in. Here you can see the dashboard and navigating towards the configuration part. Here we click on this general configuration from there. Here you can enter the details like the business email, store email, domain name, contact number, currency. Then you can choose the language, weight unit, time zone, shop type, you can choose the shop type from there. Next, we have shop FAQ. This will let the sellers see your store FAQ section, allow sellers to set a minimum purchase amount for orders. By enabling this feature, you can allow sellers to set a minimum purchase amount for orders. Login as seller by enabling this tab, you will have an option to get redirected to respective seller dashboards from the seller listing section. Before giving feedback, check whether customer had purchased at least one product of the seller. If you enable this feature, you can restrict customer to give feedback if customer is not a valid customer. Next, we have dimension unit. You can select the dimension unit. If you change the dimension unit, then you have to manually update the dimension of existing products according to new dimension unit. And once you are done with this configuration part, you have to click on the save changes. And like this, you can easily integrate your commerce rules panel with the multi-vendor marketplace panel. In our next video, we'll check how we can import the data from CT to MVM, that is commerce rules panel to multi-vendor marketplace panel. You have now successfully integrated CT with MVM. This integration will pave the way for a smoother operations between the two platforms. Up next, we'll show you how to import the data from CT to MVM. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit that like button if you found this helpful and share your views in the comment section below. Got a question? Reach us at support at the or is a ticket at webcool.uvidus.com. See you all in the next one. Till then, stay tuned.